Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with PsychicSecrets.com and welcome to Dark Tales of Zelda. Now, there's a trigger warning in this and I want you just to know that if you're squeamish or things bother you, please, this is not the video for you. Please click away. I love that you're here, but thank you very much. I just wanted to share that with you. So, it's been a couple of years now that I had this particular call and it was a woman. Now this was, once again, I worked the late shift. So it was after midnight, I believe it was something right around 2.30 in the morning. When I answered the phone, I heard children crying and screaming in the background. And it wasn't a playful crying and screaming. It was hurtful, scared, crying, screaming. And as I laid out the cards, I could see that there was definitely something that was wrong. Now, I write down every call that has a problem like this. I write down everything, I the cards, and I make my notes. So this is a true reenactment of that story. It is a true story. I've got to tell you this. So but I wanted to share with you. And as I laid out these cards, I knew something very, very bad was going on. It was a woman who asked me, what happens when people die? Do their souls go to heaven? And I knew something was going on. So I said, look, when we pass away, the word says, that we go directly back to the Father, and the Father is the one who judges us. So, for right now, I'm going to say they go to paradise, and then from there, God takes it from there. And I said, what is happening? And as I said, what is happening, I laid out these additional cards. Now, this is the tower, and before I even go further, this particular card means this is a man or a man in business, a man that has been uh, just really a good man, a hard worker, and this, this is equivalent to the Joker. I'm using the medieval deck, that's why this Joker looks like this, but this means hidden things and secrets. This means also, this three of spades means an interference from a third party, most likely an affair, and then there is a splitting, a loss. This particular person right here could indicate a woman who is, well, associated with this affair card. And also this woman who is, this is the no card. This is a bad card. It can mean depression. It can mean taking anger out on someone. It can mean a lot of these things. But this particular Ace of Spades means a loss. It can mean a death in some circumstances. And I'm not going to give you the combination of cards that indicate death because to me, that is not what we're supposed to know. So moving on, as she started to talk to me, this Tower card came out. And here is the, the cards. So she explained to me that her husband was having an affair and that a woman that he was having the affair with came up to their house. They were in the garage. I don't know what they were doing in the garage, but it looks as though she came there to talk to the husband. They started to argue. Things went south. And this woman took out something, and I'm not going to say it on here, but she took out something and used it. You can imagine, fill in the blank, she used it on this man, and he laid on the garage door, or I'm sorry, on the garage floor, and he died. As I was talking to her, and she was, was going forward, and it was very painful, and look at these cards. It's amazing how cards can come out and give you the story about what's happening as it's unfolding. This is a very painful ending. 
this death card does not necessarily mean death, but in this case, it was a very painful ending and the start of something that would have to be, well, dealt with. So the story is that that woman did something, the mistress did something to this man. He laid on the garage floor and I asked the woman, the caller, have you called the police? And she said, yes, they are on their way. And ultimately, I could hear the sirens in the background. And I said, where is that woman? Get your children and get out of that garage and get in the house. So she got the children. They were upset. She said, I can't leave him. I said, you can't help him. But right now, you can help the children. She said that the mistress was sitting outside the house and waiting. Well, the police arrived and I could hear them coming in and I could hear what was going on in the background and they were in the middle of getting this woman out of her car and they arrested her. This woman stayed on the phone with me and I think that she was just basically in shock and wanting moral support and I could hear the children and finally a police officer asked who she was talking to and she said, I'm talking to my psychic. Well, the kind of part that made me chuckle about this was the police officer said, a psychic? And you could hear, you could hear that. I mean, it was kind of, you know, it relieved a tense situation. And she, she said, yes, I wanted to know if the soul of my husband went to heaven. So he takes the phone and he said, hello. And I said, yes, sir. I gave him my name. This is Zelda Kelly. I work for so-and-so. And he said, look, he said, um, thank you very much, but we need to hang up now. I need to talk with her. And I said, sir, thank you for coming. Thank you for your service. And that was it. That was all I knew. And as we ended the card reading, these cards came out and this was obviously she was going to be alone for a little while uh, she was going to have to take get through this but with this empress card there was a new beginning coming from her and she was going to have to learn to put the pain behind her of this particular situation this is a true story and it has hung with me for a very long time i will never forget those little voices that I heard in the background and I've always wondered where she is how she is and I've always wished her well I don't know about anything I've tried to look but I can imagine and I think you can what happened to this person who did this to not only this man but the family and I wish all of them well but I want to thank you for coming by and letting me tell you this tale. It gave me chills, and it probably will you too, to be in the middle of something unfolding like that. But when she asked me, where is his soul? I knew that there was a problem. Thank you so much for coming by today, and you be well if you like this, and you like my channel, please like and subscribe. I would love that if you would do that for me, and I'll continue to bring you more tales of Zelda, the dark tales. I know some of you like to hear this, and I'm going to share. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.